Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Anthony Muturaja and I'm here with part two on part two of chords on the bass. And um, for those of you who haven't watched part one, the link is right below in the description. So in the first part, I talked about your four fundamental triads and chord cycles. And those are fairly um, simple concepts, but it can really be escalated to new levels if you practice certain ways. So for the second part, I wanted to talk about a bunch of things again. I want to talk about um, seventh chords and seventh chord voicings and um, progressions, two five one progressions, and then just playing open harmony in the sense that you're not confined to playing in a key. All right, so seventh chord. So let's look at a C triad again. So you have C G E. Now this, you just all you have to do is add the seventh note from the C in this whatever scale it is. So C major. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, B. You add the B to the C triad. So that's a C major seven. And now you can play this in respective inversions. So E B C G. G C E B. And then the weird one is B E G C. Right, so that's your C major 7. Same thing, minor. All I have to do is move that e, um, e to E flat. And then since it's minor, I'll have a minor 7. So I'll have a B flat. So, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion. Right, so now I'm not going to go through all 7th chords because it's very logical. Minus seven flat five, so you have root minus third flat five minus seven, and then you work out the voicing and inversion. So those are things that I don't want to spend too much time on because that's for you to figure out, and um, I think that's very important as a learner. That there is a ton of information out there, but majority of the learning comes from figuring out stuff for yourself. So that's seventh chords. Now for General voicings of 7th chords, I don't always play all 4 notes. Like this C major 7th voicing, I would just remove that G. Keeps it cleaner for me. In this register at least. Like here, you could use the 5th as well. But even here, I would just use no 5th. Right? So, explore that possibility. Just note voicings but seventh chords so that way you are forced to um, think your note choices even more because now you don't have all four notes like great piano players and guitar players don't use all four notes if they play a C major 7 with a 9 they don't use five notes like it's 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 logically inclined to go in the direction of putting laying down all the notes but it's not like that all the time. All right. So next thing I want to look at is two five one progressions. Okay. So we're going to be in the key of C now. D minor seven, G seven, C major seven. I'm going to show you two options. One option is with all four notes, and the other option is just variation. It's three notes, sometimes four. It really depends on what I'm going for. Okay. So two minor seven in G. I mean in C is um, D minor seven. 5-7 is G7 to C major 7 that's all in root position okay now let's try to use inversions all right so I have D minus 7 okay now let's look at the notes D A C F now what I have to do is move the A to G move the C to G uh, B and then root position on C major 7 now let's take D minus 7 first inversion ok so I have D I mean I have F C D A C moves to B A moves to G and then C major 7 first inversion Now 
next inversion. A, D, F, C. Then I move to root position of G7. And then second inversion of C major 7. Again, without the talking. Right, so that's how your voicing should be. It should be smooth. Okay? Now I'm going to take three note voices and do the same thing. Okay, so let's stay in the first position that we started in. So I'm just going to do D, C, F. And then C moves to B. And then C, B, E. So it's two. having separate entities you just have so all you have is right now again inversion two, I would take um, let's see two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two, da, da. right so fairly simple and now what you have to do is inversions and then different voicings. So now let's try this voicing. D, F, C. So D, F, C, D, F, B, C, E, B. Two, five, one, da, do, do. Now um, let's try this voicing. So that brings me to the next point in this uh, context of practicing. Bass players are often way too root oriented, like they cannot hear G major 7 unless it's, you know, like they will never hear G major 7 over here. This is not G major 7 for a bass player, this is something with D in the bass. So you need to get used to hearing chords and changes without the root. So now the next thing is non-diatonic changes, throwing in these passing chords, not just diminished but like triads and major minor triads. So let's take this inversion of C major triad, G, E, C. So G, E, C, let's say I want to do C major to F major, right? So that's the. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a passing note. I'm going to do G, C, E, A flat, E, C, to A, F, C. So from a major triad to augmented to a major triad. And then I do um, G major, B, G, D. similar motion so I'm doing G triad to B diminished to A minor triad so 
So a lot of it, if you notice, is in the movement of the voice. It's either the top note moves or the bottom note moves. You're moving one by one or two at a time. And then you just really explore different possibilities and just take like one common motion and move it. For example, one of my favorites is the first inversion of C major. And then move that E to E flat. And then move these two fingers just down a fret. So I go to G major, C major, C minor, G major, G to the diminished. And then I move down a whole step and do the same thing. So on and so forth, you can create your own ideas and exercises. seventh chords and their voicings I didn't go too in depth because it's for you to figure out as well and then I talked about 251 voicings and how you choose your voice leading and the motions and then the third part I talked about throwing in non diatonic changes and how you go about with it the important thing is your voice movement the top middle or bottom whatever it is pay attention to that you know, let it, like try to create melodies, write music this way too, you know, it's like, it's great for composition. You can just sit down and literally write a song, just like that. So, I hope you find this helpful. And, um, again, if you do have any suggestions for a um, new series, do drop me a message or just comment below in the video. And, um, until next time, I'll see you guys in the shed. Peace.